Hi everybody, Dan Oman, Mike Beer, the DRF Bets race of the day for Saturday, September the 7th, race number 10 at Belmont. We're going a mile and a half on the turf for a million bucks. It's the Jockey Club Derby Invitational, three-year-olds at Belmont Park. Three major stakes races, international flavor in two of them. Get involved on opening Saturday of the Belmont Fall Championship meeting with a DRF Bets account. Sign up now, drf.com slash bet. Get a $100 deposit match. Have access to that exclusive rewards program that allows you to earn up to a 5% weekly cash back and free DRF products. Here's the field for the Jockey Club Derby. You can access free formulator pass performances for this race on the race of the day event page at drf.com. Download them, handicap along with us. We'll take this field in post position order beginning with the likely speed. The number one, a thread of blue coming out of a win in a million dollar race at Saratoga. That was the Saratoga Derby going nine and a half furlongs. We'll take a look at that race right now because he's going to hold off digital age and Henley's joy. He just got loose Mike in here. It's a nice easy lead. Digital age is going to try to come get him. Henley's joy is going to to try to come get him, but Louis Sai is a little bit too crafty on the front end. Yeah, I mean, listen, if you played this race um, and didn't use this horse at 13 to 1, you knew you were in trouble about 50 yards from the gate because he walked right to the front. Nobody went with him. He threw his ears straight up and he took no pressure on the lead um, all the way around the track. He had plenty left in the stretch, a really good performance um, from a really good horse that, I mean, there's only one bad turf race on his card. That's when he caught that yielding course at Penn National. And he didn't seem to like it. Other than that, he's been rock solid and he might be loose on the lead again. And breaking from the inside, there's only one way for him to go. And that is right to the front. And we'll see if he can last this mile and a half. Because that's really the big question for a thread of blue, not talent. The number two is current. This is a diminutive son of Curlin coming out of a runner-up effort in the Jersey Derby at a mile and a 16th. We take a look at that race right now. We see him at the back of the pack. He's going to split horses, get up for second. He's never going to threaten the winner's standard deviation. And I realize this was his first race, Mike, in about three Three months but he's gonna have to do a heck of a lot better than this to win this million dollar race yeah he's got to really improve and he's also got to prove that he can get the mile and a half which i don't think is any kind of cinch for him we'll see if he gets it um i will say about that race we just watched it was interesting to see his rider actually try to put him into the race early and get up close to the pace and that did not work out for him he got caught in behind the stopping meter at the top of the stretch and he wound up at the back of the field again so he didn't get very lucky last time um but he does have to improve the three is Henley's joy, and as we throw up the time form U.S. pace projector, we expect a thread of blue to be out there on the lead. But the good thing about Henley's joy is he's very versatile. He can sit off, he can come from dead last, and he's just been a consistent performer since day one for trainer Michael Maker. Got his big win in the Belmont Derby two starts back when he got a beautiful ride from Jose Lascano. And listen, he got wired last time out in the Saratoga Derby. Do you think he wants the mile and a half? I mean, I guess it's a big question of the um, uh, North American based horses in this race. Uh, maybe he wants it as much as anybody. I, I would say that I'm, I'm not totally against him getting the mile and a half. We'll see how it plays out. I just thought it was sort of strange to watch him break from the rail in the Saratoga Derby last time and be taken back uh, after the trip that he got in the Belmont Derby. They just took him back last time. I'm not sure why they did that. I still thought he was finishing gamely at the end. Um, we'll see if he gets a mile and a half down, but I'm going to use him. So we got the Belmont Derby winner in Henley's Joy, the Saratoga Derby winner in A Thread of Blue, the Jersey Derby runner-up in Current, and the Spanish Derby winner. The four Pedro Caro won a race in Madrid two starts back, and then he got disqualified and placed second. That's a tough DQ. But he did come back and win in France last time out. We know distance won't be an issue. I don't think he was facing the best of the best over there, however. I don't think he was either. Um, I did like his his last race, though, that little stakes race in France. I mean, he had to sort of force his way out there. He could not get clear. He sort of bowled his way clear. And I like the way that he finished. He wants this distance. He's very lightly raced. There are things to like about this horse. San Huberto, the number five, Irish bred, French raced. This is a colt by Spitestown, who was able to carry his speed. 14 furlongs last time out in listed competition at Deville. We know the French racing is good, but the one time they tried group foes, it didn't work out. Yeah, he, he was overmatched in that race. Um, he ran better last time. He Listen, he might want even even longer than the mile and a half of this race. He wants to go all day. He, he made a really strong run last time um, over a very long distance. I was impressed with that win from him. 
Tone Broke took two-thirds of the Canadian Triple Crown in 2019, and he won his turf debut in the Breeders' Stakes, going a mile and a half last time out. Let's watch that race because Tone Broke really grinds it out. He's in the red cap down towards the inside, and Rafael Hernandez is going to ease him out for some run, and it looks like he's got a lot of work still to do with an eighth of a mile to go. But you got to give this horse credit. He wants to go this far. His stamina is there, and he kicks this horse down on the lead. Yeah, I'll give him credit, too. I think the horse he's running down doesn't want any part right. of that business, and that helps. Um, but listen, I didn't think this horse was winning an upper stretch. Um, he'll go all day long. There's nothing wrong with him. He's obviously in good form right now. I think he's got to improve to win this, though. There were things to like about Kadar's North American debut. Two starts back for Maker. He got pinched back at the start. He had to go widest into the stretch, and he only got beat ahead against an okay field. Mm -hmm. Michael Maker put blinkers on, ran him in the Saratoga Derby. Again, he got wired. I think it's a very promising sign that Maker's going on with this horse. He knows what he knows his horses, and I guess Kadar is a puncher's chance if this pace comes up fast. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's going to need every bit of that. He'll need this pace to probably fall apart in front of him. I, I, I'm with you. I thought his stateside debut was okay. I don't love that race, um, but I like the run that he put in. He basically did no running last time in the Saratoga Derby, so we'll see if he can take a step forward. Digital Age, the eight, had a little bit of trouble in the Belmont Derby simply because he had a lousy post position, and I read really had no choice but just to take him back. It was basically near the back of the pack, in behind horses at the quarter pole. He split him, and he ran okay, and last time out, he was one of the horses closing into a thread of blue. He obviously could win his race. We saw mm. that explosive kick in the American turf, but I have to be honest, I hate playing Invincible Spirits going anything longer than a mile and an eighth this one's got to go a mile and a half at a short price. Yeah, I feel like the distance is the big question mark for him, maybe more than anybody else in the race, because I don't um, question his talent at all. He's a really talented horse. I like the, the ride Irad gave him last time. I think he sort of realized a threat of blue was going to get loose, and he kept him closer than he usually does. It still didn't work out for him, but I thought he ran well, Dan. Um I'm concerned about the distance for him, but he's a really good horse. The classiest of the European runners, arguably, is the nine Spanish Mission, already a group winner this year. We're going to go back to his most recent race, the Group 3 Gordon Stakes. And I won't blame Jamie Spencer for this one. He's in behind horses in the maroon silks. He's in behind for most of the straight. He does get Spanish Mission out. And Spanish Mission has a look at this. With a furlong left to go, he gets to weaving just a bit. He's running on at the end. And I think if he runs runs this race he's going to be real tough on Saturday yeah I think if he runs this race or if he runs the race too bad I think he is going to be really tough in this race he's another one who just feels like he'll go uh, he'll just go all day long the distance is no problem he's in really good form right now um, and his connections have been talking about shipping him over here since July. So I feel like they were sort of pointing him for this race. And his bar knows how to win over here with imports. Here's the formulator fact. Fast five years, North America, on the turf, 4 for 11, 447, ROI. Time for our top selections for the Jockey Club Derby, your Saturday race of the day. We're both going with Spanish Mission. I think he's taken on some good company over there. He obviously ran well despite a little trouble last time out. I'm going 9, 8, 4, and 1. Yeah, I went uh, 9, 3, uh, 5, and 8. I'm going to throw Henley's Joy in there and hope he gets a better trip this time. He's as honest as the day as long as Henley's Joy. We'll see if Spanish Mission can do it for the Europeans in the Jockey Club Derby. Get involved with a DRF Bets account. Again, three major stakes races at Belmont this Saturday. $100 deposit match waiting for you at drf.com forward slash bet. Approximate post time for the million-dollar Jockey Club Derby, 547 Eastern. Good luck.